Hi there, I'm Rita Varios. I am known for my participation on the reality show Survivor Fiji, and I credit that for my being here today. This is an amazing panel that was put together to discuss healthy body image and body issues for young girls with the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. So we were here today uh, to discuss that. It's extremely important to me on so many levels. Uh, I don't even know to begin. You have the bad luck that I'm a talker, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'll try to keep it brief. Uh, I guess first and foremost because I have a daughter uh, and a son. And I think that it's extremely important to start educating uh, your children. Every child is a grain of sand, and every grain of sand that we put together, go out on a beach and see what that comprises, a whole beach. So extremely powerful to start there, and I'm, I'm wanting to be here now as a voice beyond my home, uh, using this image that uh, is symbolic as a survivor, uh, to show people how important it is to create strong, healthy images for our children, boys and girls. Uh, I highlighted today very much, very passionately, that I love that it happens to be in the media, which unfortunately, and we discussed that today very strongly, how negative uh, the, the media has been in uh, enforcing unhealthy images for our children. But I love that the media that I happen to participate in, Survivor, really highlights a strength, uh, a healthy, determined, ambitious, competitive, uh, for women and men alike, that we're out there on an even playing field, which is how we should be in the real world as well, and that they're highlighting a natural beauty. We are not touched up out there, folks. There is no makeup in our hair, and, and still, and still, um, I think that every person that is out on Survivor looks absolutely stunning and beautiful because of the strength that you see out there. That we are, and women in particular, I love what it does for women to highlight that we can outwit, outplay, and outlast with the best of them. So much so that the only two-time winner in the history of the show, which has been on air for over 10 years, is a woman. Bravo. Sandra Diaz Twine. Te aplaudimos. We really applaud you. Two time winner, and I'm particularly proud because she happens to be of Hispanic origin. Uh, apart from that, we discussed, we did discuss the problem with eating disorders. Uh, I fell very borderline. Actually, this is, I think, the first time that I make this public that I was very much pushed to that borderline edge because I participated in the beauty pageant world. And I was, and I come from the toughest and most demanding of them all, the Miss Venezuela pageant. I, I'm just boasting two time winners here now, everything. I will say uh, there is a very many positive aspects to the beauty pageant world. And I am proud to say that Miss Venezuela is the only two-time back-to-back Miss Universe winner. So we hold that record. But part of that is because of this arduous training that we get. And the sad part is that we're getting that training from a man. And the pressure that was put on us to be a certain size, that's basically a certain size, a number was coming from a man and really distorted. I came from such healthy, I was brought up with such healthy eating habits, um, healthy foods. We have a, a mixed, I'm, I, I'm a mutt, I come from a mixed background. My mother is from Panama, my father is from Greece. I have all that wonderful you know, variety, the color of foods that, are, that come from both cultures. And I, even coming from that healthy state, I didn't need to lose any weight, and I was asked to lose 10 pounds. I had to. I wasn't just asked to. I had to. So I went on doing very unhealthy things because my body didn't need to lose weight. So the only way you can lose weight when you don't need it is in an unhealthy way. And it, it really pushed me. No one knows this about me because they've seen me as always putting myself out there as, a, as an image of health. But I was borderline bulimic easily, borderline anorexic, because those were the means that I had to resort to. So now, more than ever, I am 
putting myself as an image of healthy ideals and healthy eating habits and I'm doing it just not talking the talk but walking the walk as I now coach uh, girls for the Miss USA California pageant and I can't overemphasize to them and I love it that I can do this that I'm, I'm begging them and forcing them to eat <laughs> to eat because when Miss Rita needs you to learn the walk you need energy Okay, if you want to have the right attitude and what I need you to project on that stage to be a winner, you need to be healthy and energetic because then you're going to step in to be an example and an icon for little girls, for women of all ages. And I can't even tell you enough, even in these pageants, I'm having to go in there and educate them. You're serving them salad? I mean, I demand, I'm, I demand a full course meal. I'm not going to eat the salad because I know I can't go and do three hours of runway walking back and forth, back and forth on a salad. So if I can't do it, they can't either. And I'm, I'm really, you know, like I said, I know it's just a grain of sand. But again, every grain of sand, ultimately, we create an ocean. And that is what today the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas did just now add a lot of grains of sand to that ocean of empowering our girls and boys of all ages.